Hi there, this is Oliver from Blenders.com and in this third part of the UBS and Dexters tutorial we're going to take a look on how to apply textures to the materials so we can see that textures at render time. So, let's go for it. Well, here I have this plane okay, and we are going to work with textures in, in this plane for starting to use textures. Okay. So, first of all, we need to apply uh, a material to the object. Okay, let's call it uh, texture test, for example. And now, once we have the, the material uh, applied, we, may, we have to make sure that we select the object. We go to the material, alright? Select the right material if we have uh, more than one material on this list. And then go to textures because we're going to select the textures for that specific material. Alright, so here we have the textures the slots and well this uh, act as something similar to layers. Alright, we're going to start using just one texture and then we will see how to uh, use more than one. Alright, for combining them together. So just select this first slot and create a new texture. When we create a new texture, we are creating a data block uh, that we are going to call uh, texture 01. And here we select the type of texture it will be. In this case, it's clouds, but we can uh, select one of this uh, list. Uh, the the ones that have this symbol with a checker is mm, they, they are procedural textures. This means that uh, we are creating that textures uh, with some kind of algorithms that Blender has built in. All right. So for example, uh, I'm going to use now these two because they are very used, and let's let this blend. Right, the blend texture will create uh, a, a blend. <laughs> All right, nothing more to say. And now we can uh, configure this blend. For example, we can go here to colors. All right, and select. Uh, for example, I can give it more brightness. You can see in the preview how it affects the the texture. Or we can just activate ramp and create a ramp here, for example, with blue and here alpha one, and let's select something red, right? And this is a blend between blue and red. We can also move the the points on the blend on the ramp, so we can change the, the blend and. Here we have some options on the texture panel. For example, let's go here to mapping. In mapping, we can select how the map is uh, projected into the object in the coordinates. Normally, is uh, by default on generated, but uh, normally we will use UB because we have objects with uh, the UBs done, with the ungrapping done, as we saw on the tutorials before this one but for now I'm going to let it be as generated All right we'll see later how to change this uh, here we will change the offset uh, of the texture and the size and all that things but this is more used uh, probably for uh, images used as testers but also for some procedural testers Okay, here in the influence panel, we can uh, activate or deactivate the the channels of the material that we want this texture to uh, to uh, affect. All right? For example, in this case, we are letting this texture affect the color channel, but we can change it so it affects the alpha channel and the white areas are uh, opaque and the black areas are transparent on the model. Alright, we, we will see all this uh, later. And 
finally on this blend panel we have some options for the blend right horizontal vertical let's go now it's vertical on the preview as you can see but here we can change it to spherical this way we will have a spherical blend right let's uh, make a render okay first of all I'm going to activate here the texture mode and go here on the properties panel to display GLSL and texture solid uh, the, the thing with the procedural testers is that we cannot uh, see them on the viewport alright we just need to render in order to see them but the images uh, we import into Blender we can see them on the viewport alright let's go ahead and make a quick render and alright here we have this blend texture affecting the color channel of this uh, plane I'm going to change something here on the world I want the horizon to be gray right so we can see better the silhouette of the plane let's make another render alright this is what I want let's go here and let's change this to black and this to white okay great now we can use this as an alpha value for this plane okay so this area here with in white will be uh, seen on the render but the black areas will be transparent so let's activate here let's see activate color let's use here some green color so we can see it better and uh, for using a texture as an alpha we need to check on transparency and here put the alpha to zero now check on the alpha on the influence of the texture and it's on one now here RGB to intensity because we are going to use an image without alpha okay just uh, black and white values uh, as an intensity for the alpha alright so let's go ahead and make a render and here we have it okay the center of the plane is a pack but the rest of it is transparent great now we we have seen this we I'm going to show you this thing here we can activate or deactivate textures so now it's deactivated we will see nothing, anything, because uh, on the material the transparency is to zero. But now we will see all the, the, the model. Right? Let's put this to one, turn off transparency, and delete this texture. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to use images as textures so create a new texture I'm going to call it image 01 uh, and on the type of texture I'm going to select image or movie alright let's go here to the image panel and if we have uh, images already loaded on the scene we can just click here and we will have a list of them or just go to open and here you have uh, some images. Uh, a, a little trick here is to click this button here to display files as thumbnails. Alright, so we can see preview uh, previews of the images. Right? I'm going to select this one for example. Okay. And well for this material to show you how it works, I'm going to put it on shadeless mode. Alright, so we can see it better how the textures 
uh, affect the material right let's render it and you can see that the photograph is being projected onto the plane right later we will see how to apply this kind of textures onto a uh, complex model all right and having this image here okay we are going to see how to uh, change some parameters for example here with images you have this uh, new panel that is not on the procedural textures which is uh, a panel in which you can activate or deactivate some options for uh, you know for example if the image is normal map you need to activate this and select the type of normal map you have or here if the if the image has an alpha that the blender take that alpha all right or or not to take it and things like that and image mapping how many times it will repeat okay let's take a look how it affects it all right here you can see we can now see that changes on the viewport on real time but we can see them on the on the render right so here what I'm telling Blender is to repeat this image three times into the x-axis and three times into the y-axis now it will change as you can see this is very useful for uh, plain textures like a brick wall or something like that because you can take a texture and repeat it over a wall so it seems like it it's made of uh, very little bricks or things like that but it's a little texture repeated a lot of times okay things like this uh, another another thing here is that we can offset the image as you can see here to adjust it its projection onto the onto the plane okay and the size of it this is quite useful for tiling now let's put this to zero and this to one okay now it's in color I'm going to to combine this image with another one here image or movie open and this one okay now as you can see uh, we have this tester onto a different slot okay so now we have image 02 okay but we can change the order of the slots by pressing these arrows here okay so the ones the the, the one the texture which is uh, more on the down part of the slot of the slots uh, will be the the first visible right now we can select this image let's go to the influence panel here and into the color decrease the intensity so we will fade it to the other texture so we can see okay this is very interesting for uh, adjusting textures or for for applying uh, a clean texture and then adding another texture which has only dirty dirtiness all right here we can also change the the mix okay in add mode screen value okay this is very useful for combining layers of different textures And now we're going to see diff uh, another uh, last thing here, okay, which will be stencils. I'm going to create a blend file, uh, a blend uh, texture, which I'm going to call 
stencil this will be a spherical blend alright I think it's correct for the thing I want to show you and I want to use this as a stencil which is use this texture as a blending value on the next texture activate it and now let's render it and well there is no texture uh, behind it so it's not working let's put it on here and now you can see that in the center we can see the the next texture okay into the white values of the blend we can see the next texture but on the black values it, this texture is transparent so we see this one okay I'm going to make it more obvious uh, let's activate here ramp and make it something like this render okay you can see it now here we have it okay well and last thing here is the the projection mode okay because I'm going to show you here an interesting thing well, let's uh, deactivate this stencil so we can see this and this second image let's call it reflection for example and decrease the color amount and now in the coordinates we can change it to reflection uh, there are a lot of modes for projecting it but I like the reflection because uh, it changes uh, depending on the camera angle so it's very useful for faking reflections into low poly characters or or for the game engine and well I use it a lot for simple animations because it uh, speeds up uh, render time because it uh, the, the render hasn't uh, doesn't have to render the, the reflections alright they are faked so as you can see is reflecting that texture okay and we can change the the amount of reflection by changing the color here is 100% reflection but now we have just a little one also we can change as always the effect so we have something like a mirror okay once we have seen this let's go to my character and let's apply a texture to it okay so let's create a material for it this is the character as it is right now and let's apply a material. So I'm going to call well that night material is already named. Now uh, go to the textures panel and create a new texture which will be called mm, diffuse. Diffuse image or movie open and let's go here that night diffuse and well I cannot see it very well so let's go here and activate shadeless All right we can we can have here a problem and is that the texture is not being applied on the UVs so let's go here mapping and UB okay there we have it now on the render it's being rendered right let's deactivate shadeless and some intensity to this light even more something like 17 
and a little more to this one. Okay, so we have here our character being rendered, but there is something strange, and is that the, the eyes and these uh, things here that should be light uh, are shaded. Are, are shaded, so they are not appear to be emitting light. Let's arrange this. Let's go to the textures panel, and on the next slot, let's create a new texture which will be called Illumination. image or movie open and that night illumination okay so I have here a texture which is just uh, some blue areas of the illuminated uh, parts of the character the rest is black okay so we can see it here right now it is taking the color channel influence as you can see, if I decrease the, the influence, we can see the texture which is behind it. I'm going to change the coordinates to UB. And now we can see that they are the, the bright areas of light. Okay, once we have this, we could uh, use this Add so the black areas are now transparent and it's working as a, a, a potentiator no that's not the word it's adding the value to the bright areas as you can see here also uh, you can use this kind of things to animate values on some parts of the textures like this okay but which with this one we are having the same problem is that the shaded areas are not uh, looking like if they were emitting light okay so let's deactivate color channel and let's activate here mid channel so here into mix and what is happening here RGB to intensity. Okay, so this way we are taking the RGB uh, values to use them as some kind of alpha. Right, so now even we take this light uh, energy a lot down, you can see that that areas are emitting light. Well, not actually emitting light, but they look uh, uh, as if they were, alright? The effect is as these areas are shadeless. Okay, so the the light doesn't affect these areas of the texture. This is very interesting because we can select this, let's go here, and now on the render we can see these areas of is they uh, they look like if they were a medium light okay so I think this is everything for this tutorial I hope you learned how to use uh, textures well at least the basics and now I recommend you to uh, check uh, a lot of these options because there, there are uh, some interesting things and there are a lot of channels for experimenting with so, well, take care, see you soon, and happy blending.